You guys are joining me on a Saturday night and I don't want to panic yet, but I was watering my philodendron Brazil over there and I flipped over a leaf as it looked a little bit faded and there was this little speck of white and I went to go touch it and it basically sprung off like a spring. So like I said, I don't want to panic yet, but it might've been a thrip. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to take it down off the shelf. That means I have to remove it from the drywall. It's been latched on naturally. I'll show you here. As you can see here, it's actually latched on from the aerial roots all by itself. So I love this portion of the plant, the leaves, super big, super healthy. Everything's doing really good. Um, this was super thirsty. It, it was bone dry. So these leaves are a little bit wilted. They're a little bit saggy. Don't worry about it. But where's that leaf? Right here. This leaf right here. I noticed this little browning, yeah, whatever. It could be from um, just damage. But I flipped it over. And there was a little white speck on the back of the leaf. And when I put, when I touched it, it basically jumped away. So that may have been a thrip. It doesn't look like thrip damage. This might be thrip damage. I'm a little suspicious right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this plant down, take it over to the uh, quarantine bathroom, and I'm gonna spray it down with some insecticidal soap, and then I'm gonna let that dry, and I'll probably give it another good watering tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna rip it off the wall here in a second, but I'm gonna be so pissed if that is a thrip or if I find any more thrips on this. Um, I did have some beneficial mites on order from Amazon, but with all the flooding in BC, uh, my <laughs> shipment, it didn't arrive. I was fully expecting my package to be delayed and it just never showed up. So I actually ordered it again off Amazon. It's from a company in BC. So I'm hoping that it arrives fairly quickly and then I can put those uh, beneficial mites on the uh, this plant and the surrounding plants. And if there is a little thrip issue, then it'll just take care of that. This is probably the reason why I'm most upset about this. And I know it can reattach. I can uh, put up some tape or something next time, but I just love the way this grows. Look at it. That's crazy. Okay, it's actually on there pretty good. I don't want to do this, but for the health of the plant and my other plants. Okay, it's stuck on there good. That's crazy. Look at it, it's leaving marks on my wall. <laughs> oh no, oh no actually okay it's actually removed the drywall that's not good whoops okay there you go what's done is done oh man it wrecked my drywall up there that sucks okay let's take it to the bathroom i'm not going to do this whole procedure uh, on camera but i'm in my bathroom right now with my super high-tech setup just got a <laughs> little amazon light there but I'm going to just look over this plant uh, briefly just to see if there is any more thrip damage. And I always look underneath the leaves. So like I said, I'm not gonna do this on camera because it's gonna take me a while to kind of get through all this. And then I'm going to spray off. I don't have much left, but I'm gonna use this insecticidal soap um, on the plant here. Just to spray it off um, on the top and underneath the leaves. I'll let it dry. This product works by coating soft bodied insects. Um, I do believe thrips are included in this and basically it uh, dehydrates them. It's a fatty acid, uh, potassium salts of fatty acids. And uh, yeah, so basically it has to come in contact with the bug and it um, just dehydrates them and uh, basically kills them off. So I'm gonna look this plant over, uh, spray it off with the insecticidal soap, uh, let it dry, and then I'm going to uh, rinse it off and hopefully that uh, that takes care of the issue. Thrips is super hard to get rid of. Even if you think you have it under control, they actually lay eggs um, within the, uh, the leaf tissue itself, I think. And uh, you may not see any on the plant itself, but when the conditions are right, then those uh, little eggs will hatch and you can have an issue um, pretty darn fast. So I didn't really see any solid evidence of any thrips running around. 
there is a few areas that look like this. Uh, if you have some yellow kind of fading on the leaves as well as some physical damage, that's a sign of thrips. I don't know if this is or not. Um, I'm gonna say it is, just uh, treat it like it is. But I don't really see any, there's just a few leaves like that. Even here, just looks like a little bit of fading. So that's kind of suspicious. So I sprayed off the plant as best as I could. Um, I lifted up the plant, sprayed uh, most of the back sides of the leaves. That's where you want to get the most, is just sprayed off as best as you can. Um, I kind of flipped them over already, so you can see there's some product on the back. But if you cannot, um, like this is a large plant, there's a lot. So what I do is I'll just kind of, I guess, spread the uh, product around underneath the leaves as best as you can. Probably wear gloves, I'm not, but whatever. This leaf right here, something like this. It just looks, oh no, that's just variegation. Flip it over, just uh, try and get that product on there. Um, especially the leaves closer to the soil. Thrips don't live in soil, but I find the older leaves, for whatever reason, they like to attack those first. So, that's about all I can do for now. Just gonna, like I said, let it dry. And hopefully, this is not an issue. I, uh, I lost a large philodendron Brazil to thrips last year, so that's why I'm kind of, I guess, worried right now, is I don't want to lose another one of these. I don't know what it is with thrips and philodendrons, but they're just magnets for, for these uh, bugs. Now, right here, there's just some, just some very faint yellowing. That's suspicious of thrips. I don't like it. Okay, while that's drying, I'm just gonna go over this uh, golden pothos and just make sure everything is okay on this plant. Everything looks okay. I don't see any damaged leaves or anything like that. No yellowing. Everything looks good. Uh, this Mona Lisa lipstick plant, it's always kind of got some yellow leaves, uh, mainly on the top here. So I'm not too concerned about that. It was basically not getting enough light on top, so I added this uh, uh, grow light, this uh, three light gooseneck. So now it's getting light on top. I did give it some water tonight, but um, yeah. Here's a yellow leaf, but it was, again, this one is chronically underwatered. I'm not paying enough attention to this plant. It just seems to be using a ton of water since using these uh, grow lights. It's just obviously photosynthesizing uh, more, so it's uh, using a, uh, more water. Jeez, I can't talk to me. Um, just distracted by these flowers. This is the start of the flower. The little, I don't even know what it's called, the little lipstick <laughs> portion uh, comes out of the, uh, the flower here. Look how fuzzy these are. It's pretty cool. Okay, now I'm going to take a Lysol wipe and just clean off. I think these are all the little pieces of drywall. I'm just gonna clean this up here quick. Just make sure there's no bugs on here. Scar to that. Uh, I guess the good thing in my brief research with thrips is that they don't actually live in soil. It's mainly just the leaf. So, okay, let's try and get this off. Yeah, that's not coming off. That's definitely, uh, I don't know. It's not coming off, jeez. Okay. Okay, everything else is looking okay. The shelf is clean, these plants, like I said, I'll give it a once over here, but everything else is looking good. Man, I love this little table. The uh, homolamina, homolamina selby, as well as I, geez, I can't talk tonight. What is going on? She's Matoglottis plants. And uh, my Aglinemus. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this quick little exciting Saturday night video uh, with me and Thrips. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I hope it's not thrips. Uh, let me know down in the comment section if you've ever had thrips and what you've used to treat it, if it was successful or not, um, or some tips or tricks, that sort of thing, just for other people to learn from and uh, apply it to their houseplants. So thanks again for watching everyone. Take care, bye.